Hey guys, this is Nathan at Rain Networks. Thanks for joining us today for today's video. Uh, we had a question come in recently on how to make a password to protect the ESAT client uh, on your workstation. So basically what this pertains to is imagine that you have loaded ESET for uh, somebody and um, maybe they can come in, they open up the ESET on their workstation and then this gives them the opportunity to then maybe go in here and start changing settings and stuff like that. And in a lot of business scenarios, IT managers will not want this to be the case. They kind of want to lock their users out of here. So how do we go about doing it so that when they were to come into uh, the ESET GUI on the machine, they will get prompted with a, a password box, which of course they would have the password. So in a sense, we can kind of lock them out. So let's talk about how to do that through the Security Management Center. Pretty easy to do through a policy. So you'd go into your security management center, go to policies over here on the left. In this case, we'll just go ahead and make a brand new policy um, since we can apply multiple policies to any machine. And we'll just call this one uh, password ESET. We'll click continue down here at the bottom. Uh, in this case, we're working with the endpoint product for Windows. So in the second screen here, we're gonna select endpoint for Windows. This will get us into the policy configuration screen. And the password settings are specifically under the user interface section. And then down here towards the bottom, after you click on user interface, you're looking for access setup. Now they do give you two separate password setting sections. There's one for version six, uh, one for version seven. Um, so you may wanna go ahead and set this in both places if you maybe have both uh, versions on your network. Uh, a lot of people nowadays are just running version seven. Um, so if you just have version seven, you can click that here. It'll enter your password here, click OK, and that's all there is to it. It's very, very, very easy. Uh, you do want to hit continue down here at the bottom and click assign, and then assign this policy to whichever uh, machine or machines you want to apply it to. Um, in our case here, we have a couple of folders. Like if I wanted to apply it at the folder level, I could literally just click that uh, checkbox next to the folder. It would apply that to every machine inside the folder. If I wanted to have it just go on a couple specific machines, I could even just select the machines there. So that's it. It's pretty much make the policy, define the password in the settings section, click assign to assign it to the machines, and from there hit finish, and that's it. You're done. All right, hope that helps on how to make a policy for your ESET software.